Hmm, you ever wonder why do all phones keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger in size, even though we're moving forward with the tech that we can actually make them smaller, but we still make them bigger. So if you want to find out why, stay tuned. What's going on everyone? This is Amgad and let's rewind back a little to 2007. You remember that year? It's the year that the first iPhone was announced by Steve Jobs himself before he passes away. And if you take a look at phones before 2007, you're going to find a bunch of Blackberries and other manufacturers. All the designs of these phones before the first iPhone had a bunch of plastic buttons, letters everywhere, and they were a bit of a challenge to use for the average consumer. But honestly, back then, the average consumer didn't do much with their phone other than answering phone calls, maybe doing some email, but most, most people back then used their computers for emails and stuff like that, and texting. That's pretty much it. But when the first iPhone hit, it had 3.5 inches of a display and it was it was like that big literally it was like that big and it was considered a big phone at the time believe it or not and now you can have a phone that you can use with your fingers without needing a stylus without needing a bunch of navigation buttons only one button which is the home button that the iPhones used to have back in the day and you use your fingers to navigate through the phone you had your cameras you can use the internet, you can answer phone calls. And later on, after a year, Apple announces the iPhone 3G, which offered 3G cellular connectivity with an app store for the first time. This was the revolutionary. Back then, people, as I said, they used to use their phones for text, answering phone calls, and maybe some emails, not even most people. But now, you use your phone to take pictures, you use your phone to share these pictures on social media apps because now you have apps. You have not, not only just social media apps, but any kind of app, games, social media, even more than that. Now you have a, an app store for your phone to use and purchase software and apps. How cool is that? But as we go further and further in time, people want it more out of their phones. So now people started playing a lot and their phone people started using their phone in landscape mode and now people were using their phones more often than their computers. So because of that use case, phones had to get a little bigger. So we see we, we can see that with the iPhone 5. Now we have a 5 inch display. People love the design of the iPhone 5 as well as the previous iPhones. It was super dope. And now we get even more improvements on the cameras, on the performance wise, chipset, RAM, stuff like that. It was super, super dope. Moving to the iPhone 5S that featured the Touch ID for the first time ever in an iPhone. It was super awesome. People used it all the time. Apple introduced Apple Pay, a secure way to use your cards without stealing your identity or without carrying your thick wallet. You can just use your phone and pay with your phone and do everything with your phone, right? That was the main purpose. Because of that, phones had to get even bigger. Next year with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, they were the biggest iPhones at the time that Apple has ever created. The iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display and the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. And people loved it. The iPhone 6 Plus sold like crazy. People were rushing, people were waiting on lines for hours and hours, tens of hours to get the new plus sized iPhone, to get the big iPhone that people love. And it pretty much comes down to the consumer, to us, to the people who use their phones. How are you gonna use your phone? Are you gonna use it to answer phone calls, reply text messages, whatever, and that's it? Or are you gonna use your phone to take good quality pictures, to maybe even edit videos on it, maybe edit photos on it, listening to music, uh, managing your business through your phone. Doing all of these stuff on your phone require a bigger display. 
Maybe if you're a gamer as well, you would rather game on a bigger display. If you consume a lot of media, YouTube, Netflix, other services, you would rather have a bigger screen on your phone to enjoy that content. And that was it for me in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and our Facebook page. All the links are going to be in the description down below. And make sure you leave all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I read every single comment and I love it. Thank you guys for commenting on every single video. I truly appreciate that. And if you want me to make a specific video about a specific topic in the future, you can leave that in the comments as well and I'll reply to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.